Hi everyone. Today I'm going to tell you clarify uh, some basic doubts which is running in your mind, uh, especially engineering first year students. Uh, first of all, uh, always you have doubts that uh, what is potential rise and what is potential drop. Uh, or like if, when I have a battery source like this when I have a the same battery source let's say this is 50 volt let's say this is 50 volt uh, when the current enters like this and when the current enters like this in first case the current enters from minus to ends at positive enters in power the current enters at negative and ends in the positive. Then the voltage can be, the value can be taken as plus 50 volt and it is said to be potential rise. When the current enters from positive to negative, it means it can be, the value can be taken as minus 50 volt and it is said to be potential drop then one can ask the doubt how to decide the current direction how to decide the current direction the current direction can be assumed so the conclusion for the question is the current direction can be assumed so potential rise means when the current flows from minus to plus or when it ends at plus the voltage value is plus 50 plus value and it is called rise if it ends at negative then the voltage is taken in negative and it is said to be drop simple then now we are going to find out some of the voltage across some resistors like for example if i take if this is the this is the voltage okay 50 volt I have applied there is a battery now here I am having the resistance I am connecting and this is resistance is 10 ohm first of all we have to understand that how the plus and minus potential rise potential drop is written why to say it is potential drop why potential rise if this is a battery replace this one like a battery like this so this is plus this is minus the minus terminal is called where the electrons are more at positive terminal the electrons are less when I connect this battery with the resistance of any value then the circuit become closed and the electrons from higher where the electrons are more start flows to the place where the electrons are less so the electrons inside the battery from minus to plus start moves it means the current is flowing inside the battery inside inside the battery the current flows from minus to plus so the source voltage always it can be always be a potential rise potential rise okay and so if it is coming like this current at this point it is coming out from there only the current start flowing to the external circuit from here only the current flow start to the external circuit now for this resistance can i find out which is plus which is minus terminal yes i can since outside the battery it start from the plus terminal from here only it can supply because the current is flowing here so the accumulation of the current is at this place only so the current can flow from this side so to the resistance at this point only the current is entering and it is leaving in the negative 
so since it here the current is flowing from minus to plus i can say this is the positive voltage and since it is plus to minus i can say it is a negative voltage or otherwise it is the battery is the source which is supplying and the resistance is the load or consuming it is consuming it is taking the current so which gives which gives us the positive which takes is the negative so this is rise and it is drop drop means it is getting consumed 